हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू कैटलिस्ट केमिस्ट्री यूट्यूब चैनल एज यू डिस्कस लास्ट वीडियो दैट इज क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ सेचुरेटेड कंपाउंड्स मींस के सेचुरेटेड एस पी हाइब्रिडाइजेशन हेलोजन कंपाउंड्स द फर्स्ट वन इज व्हाट दैट इज अल्काइल हेलाइड सेकंड वन इज व्हाट अलाइलिक हेलाइड थर्ड वन इज व्हाट बेंजाइलिक हेलाइड इन सेचुरेटेड द हाइड्रो मींस द हेलोजन एटम इज डायरेक्टली अटैच टू अ एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइज कार्बन एटम दैट इज इंडिकेट वॉट सेचुरेटेड नेक्स्ट अलाइलिक मीन्स वॉट एफ एम द एस पी थ्री द हेलोजन एटम डायरेक्टली अटैच टू वॉट एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइज कार्बन एटम नेक्स्ट टू वॉट कार्बन कार्बन डबल बॉन्ड इज दैट दैट इज इंडिकेट वॉट अलाइलिक बेंजाइलिक मीन्स वॉट द हेलोजन एटम अटैच टू एस पी थ्री हाइब्रिडाइज कार्बन एटम नेक्स्ट इज अरोमेटिक रिंग दैट इज गॉड वॉट बेंजाइलिक अल्काइल बेंजाइलिक हेलाइड्स ओके दैट इज फर्स्ट इन सेकेंड इन सेकेंड इज देर ओके दैट इज सेकेंड the halogen atom is directly attached to a unsaturated unsaturated carbon unsaturated carbon means that is indicate what sp2 means compounds compounds containing compounds containing sp2 hybridized sp2 hybridized carbon compounds containing what sp2 hybridized Uh, in bracket you have to write sp2 hybridized that is indicate what unsaturated unsaturated compounds unsaturated compounds means oh, only simple don't worry about this one but but the thing is what uh, but the thing is uh, the halogen atom is directly attached to a sp2 hybridized carbon atom that is indicate what unsaturated uh, carbon atom in this case the first one the first one is first one is vinylic first one is what vinylic halides first one is what vinylic halides vinylic halides means these are the these are the unsaturated compounds of aliphatic or alicyclic the important point is what these are the these are the unsaturated compounds of aliphatic aliphatic or or alicyclic alicyclic aliphatic or alicyclic halogen halogen derivatives halogen derivatives halogen derivatives means in this case vinylic halides are containing aliphatic or alicyclic halogen derivative in this case what happen the halogen atom is directly attached to the sp2 hybridized carbon atom that is sp2 is what unsaturated just see here example example is what very simple ch2 double bond is a ch next one is what cl very simple just here what is the hybridization of this carbon is sp2 what about this one sp2 the halogen atom directly attached to this carbon this carbon is hybridization is sp2 means what unsaturated example for what vinylic halide next thing in this case what this is what alicyclic alicyclic means do not containing aromatic ring it may be a saturated or may be a unsaturated but do not containing uh, aromatic ring that is indicate what alicyclic example for alicyclic just see here like this this is called what chlorohexene the what about this one ipc name this is called what indicate one chloroethene one chloroethene is the ipc name this one chlorohexene is the ipc name just see here this is not a aromatic ring okay aromatic character is different okay that must be a sp2 hybridized but in this case what about this one sp3 just here this halogen atom attached to this carbon this here is what carbon this carbon hybridization is what sp2 this is what vinylic halide the next one is there the next one is there what is that uh, aryl halide the next one is what aryl halide that is also very simple aryl halides are also what halogen derivatives aryl halide the next second one is what aryl halides aryl halides aryl means benzene ring aryl means what benzene ring the halogen atom directly attached to the aromatic ring that is called what aryl halide very simple example now to take n number of examples are there this is just here chlorobenzene chlorobenzene is an example of what aryl halides 
this chlorine is attached to this carbon this carbon is what sp2 hybridized carbon atom that's why in this case what this is indicate what aryl halide so you have, you have to take another example next one is how to take br bromobenzene chlorobenzene iodobenzene all are example of what aryl halide up to this what saturated and unsaturated compounds of halogen derivatives is what completed okay the next one the next one is most important thing that is basic point nature of carbon halogen bond nature of nature of carbon halogen x is indicate what halogen chlorine chlorine bromine or maybe iodine astatine is a radioactive element don't consider nature of carbon halogen bond what is the nature okay that is what important what is the nature of carbon halogen bond just see here in this case i'm going to take an example that is what cs3 is there next one is what you have to take a cl just here carbon and chlorine is there carbon and chlorine out of these two which is more electronegative element chlorine is a more electronegative element highest electronegativity in the product table is what fluorine just here a uh, carbon is there here is what chlorine is there in this case what happen this carbon is having here one electron is there chlorine is having one electron there is a bond formation between two electron combination of two electron means what bond formation just here the electron move from carbon to chlorine not chlorine to carbon because which is a more electronegative element that um, that uh, that element can attract the electron pair towards itself that is indicate what more electronegative just here the electron move from carbon to chlorine this one is indicate what the electron moving from what carbon to chlorine carbon is going to get a what delta plus this one is what delta plus the chlorine is going to get what delta minus okay means delta plus means what partially negative charge delta minus indicate what partially positive charge okay that is what important that's why in this case which effect is going on in this case minus i effect most important minus i effect means what negative inductive effect where there is a electron withdrawing group attached to a carbon that is indicate what minus i effect electron withdrawing group this chlorine is act as a electron withdrawing group uh, electron donating is there 100% that is what a plus i effect okay minus m is there next plus m is there a different thing just here the electron move from carbon to chlorine the carbon is going to get a delta plus chlorine chlorine is going to get a delta minus 100% this is called what a minus i effect why electron move from carbon to chlorine because of chlorine is a more electro negative element okay you have to take chlorine you have to take what iodine there is no problem this is the what nature of carbon halogen bond okay next next this point is what important this is what tabular column is there okay in this case what the first column is what represented by what bond next one is what bond length the picometer the pico is 10 to the power of minus 12 meter okay next one is what carbon halogen bond enthalpies are there next one is what dipole moment the dipole moment is represented by what mu the dipole moment is represented by what what is dipole moment mu equal to q into d the dipole moment is it is a product of what charge and distance between them i repeat the dipole moment is the product of charge and distance between them that is indicate what a dipole moment the dipole moment is uh, uh, this is what dy represented by what in dy just here cs3 f is there this is called what a fluoromethane is a ipc nomenclature methyl fluoride is a common name this fluoromethane having a bond length is 139 picometer this bond enthalpy is what 452 next one is what dipole moment is 1.847 just here in this case down the group the down the group bond length is going to increases why down the group bond length is going to increases because of in this case the iodine size is going to what larger compared to what fluorine initially the fluorine is having a smaller size down the group size is going to what increases automatically the bond length is going to increases just here better this is what smaller size of fluorine next this is what chlorine next this is what bromine next one is what that is called larger size is indicate what iodine just here in this case this is carbon is there okay this one is indicate what cs3 
next in this case what iodine is there iodine is having what larger in size obviously in this case what bond length is more down the group bond length is going to what increases but in this case what bond enthalpy is going to what decreases bond length and bond enthalpy these two are inversely proportional to each other one is going to increases another is going to what decreases okay just see here in this case bond length is very less but bond enthalpy is more bond enthalpy means what the amount of energy required to uh, break a bond that is indicate what bond enthalpy is enthalpy means what energy next one is what a dipole moment okay this is called 1.86 1.860 1.847 1.830 next one is what 1.636 okay this is indicate what entire chart of what this bond bond length and next bond enthalpy next one is what dipole moment okay uh, up to this important point is what the important point is what they are going to ask you what is vinylic halides and what is aryl halides okay you have to make a perfect definition along with what example okay thank you